Apple's upcoming update allows you to use Face ID while wearing a mask and not needing an Apple Watch. This is gonna be awesome. Let's enable it and put it to the test. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. If you've been paying attention at all to the week in Apple news, then you know recently Apple made waves when it was announced that iOS 15.4, the forthcoming iOS update, is going to enable you to use Face ID while wearing a mask. And this is pretty big news. Previously, Apple had kind of a workaround for this where it would authenticate you using Apple Watch. But one, it meant you had to have an Apple Watch. And two, it wouldn't work for purchases. This new update will allow you to use a mask and use Face ID for everything. And honestly, it works really well. So that's what we're gonna be testing in this video. I'm gonna show you how to enable Face ID with a mask, and I'm gonna walk you through testing a bunch of different masks, everything from large cloth ones to standard like medical ones and even a gator. So let's go ahead and just try this out and see how well it works. I'll come back to you at the end. So here is how we're gonna enable the new Face ID that support masks. We're gonna go into settings, we're gonna scroll down until we find Face ID and passcode. Then enter your passcode. From there, we're gonna use Face ID for all of these things. And if we go ahead and either toggle any of these on or choose the option down below to set up Face ID, it'll walk you through the process. For this video, I went ahead and reset Face ID, but if you already have Face ID set up, then you won't need to worry about this. In my case, Face ID is not set up, so we're gonna go ahead and enroll our face. Now when enrolling my face after the first scan, this pop-up will appear, letting you know that you can now use Face ID with a mask and you don't need an Apple Watch. So here you can choose down below, use Face ID with the mask or don't use Face ID with a mask. In this case, we're choosing to use it with a mask. We're then gonna go through the same process again of adding our face a second time this time after choosing to use it with a mask. Now that we've already enabled Face ID, you can see the option down below to use Face ID with a mask. You can turn this on or off at any time. Apple also recommends if you're going to be using glasses with Face ID and a mask, you need to enroll each set of glasses. Face ID will work best if you train Face ID with each pair of glasses that you plan to wear. Note, this doesn't include sunglasses. We're talking just about regular glasses or reading glasses here. Okay, so I've went ahead and registered Face ID. Now let's go ahead and test it out. So first, I need to remove my Apple Watch because I don't want to be authenticating with this. Plus, it's dead anyway. So let's go ahead and take that off and I guess let's put on a mask. Pretty basic one, right? A lot of people have tried these masks. Put this on. Get some coverage. Try to unlock my phone. Heck, it worked. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty quick. That was really good. Let's go ahead and try another mask. Move up to a larger cloth one, this Under Armour one. A bit more coverage on my face, my chin and everything. So I got my phone. We're gonna go ahead and, and lock it here. Unlock it, locked, and swipe up right away. That was so fast using this mask. I don't think uh, iPhone's gonna have any problem with any of these things. Here's another one that kind of pops out a little bit. Try this guy, see how this does. More like 3D of a mask. Okay, it, yep, I can barely even say anything and it's already unlocked the phone. Okay, this is the most complicated one. We have a full gator here. Let's go ahead and put this on. This has a lot more coverage. <clears throat> see what we can get away with. We just show my eyes a little bit. Okay, let's see. Swiping up, and it unlocked, like right here. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna lock it. Unlock it, one more time. Yeah, swipe up to unlock, and we're in. That <laughs> works so well. I'm a little bit surprised that the Gator didn't give it any issues. That's awesome. This is gonna be a really great update. So the way this is working is it is scanning the area around your eyes versus scanning the rest of your face. So technically you do have slightly weaker security here because it's just scanning a smaller portion of your face versus the whole thing. Now let's go ahead and try really quick just to see how it gives me uh, 
And if it gives me any issues while wearing glasses. So we're gonna put some glasses on. I can barely see right now for what, because I've got contacts and glasses in. So it did unlock just fine with the glasses on. Let's go ahead and turn to a mask. Put this Under Armour on real quick. Is that upside down? Upside down. Okay. And I have up. Okay, so now it is giving me a headache. It is saying no, but I have not enrolled these glasses yet with Face ID. So let's take off my mask. We're gonna jump back into settings. I'm going to add these glasses to Face ID and we'll just see how that works. So add glasses, same process as before. We're gonna go ahead and hit add glasses. Might need me to lower my face or lower the phone, okay? Okay, one time and we're good to go. So let's go back, we're gonna try it, lock the phone, put on the mask, and this time it worked just fine. So even wearing glasses while wearing a mask works, assuming that you go ahead and enroll each set of glasses into Face ID. By the way, iOS 15.4 is currently in public beta. If you wanna try it out, be sure to remember this is a beta software update and not guaranteed. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to wait a little longer until Apple publicly releases iOS 15.4. There is one caveat to all of this, and that is that it will only work on iPhone 12 and iPhone 13. Apple hasn't publicly stated why it won't work on iPhone 10 and iPhone 11, but Apple did subtly upgrade the Face ID module to make it work with wider angles and be a little bit faster with the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13, and that must have something to do with it because otherwise, they're really similar devices. I'm very excited about this, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know on Twitter at Android underscore OSU or down below in the comments and we can chat about this. If you have any other questions, post them down there. Otherwise, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time.